everybody. This is Bob Iaccino from Path Trading Partners, along with my co-founder, Mike Arnold. It is August 16th, and this is a Path Chat educational update covering cryptocurrencies. This is a Ripple update, a little bit of a down move, and then a small recovery in Ripple. Uh, let me turn it over to Mike to let you know what he's seeing on the charts. But before I do, check out our R Zone Part 2. We did R Zone Part 1 last week. And we covered our zone part two this week, and it is up on our YouTube channel. So check that out so that when Mike talks about the R zone, you get a better idea of what he's talking about. Mike, it's all yours. Okay, thank you very much, Bob. So I had some requests to go over Ripple, Ripple US dollar. Very key level here. We have an adjusted horizontal channel. We've talked about this in an earlier video. Uh, it's come down, adjusted down a bit. It actually matched very close to these prior major lows. And then we got a bottoming pattern. Just one thing we've talked about, watching for a bottoming pattern on a shorter term chart. Key things to notice. We're getting bottoming patterns. This is a time to dip in uh, the toe in the water. Not time to get super aggressive. So maybe you add a double position. You take half of it off and then hold it. But if it drops below this, you cut the other half. You treat it as a stop loss. There's a couple key areas in this daily chart we're going to point out that we have to get above. This key 50 to 62 and a half retracement area from this channel is going to be very key. You see the last time it tried to rally, it poked just above the rotation zone, hitting the top of the 62 and a half channel, uh, GAN level, and then dropping down. And we have the rotation zone still against us. So we have this overhead resistance. So we're going to want to take some profits off the table on our shorter term targets. Let me show you. We'll go to the four hour, then the one hour, and I'll show you the trade that was set up. Okay, so here we have our four hour chart. We'll zoom in on this little double bottom on the one hour chart in a, in a second, but we've also triggered a trend line trade at, with some targets around 1597 and then a major target right around the 1620, which is at the top of the rotation zone. So not a big, huge trade there. Just something to take advantage of. Again, if it were to drop back down, we'd be cutting it. If we'd be getting out with our stop losses if it were to move back down because this is not a place we want to be aggressive. We want to still trade around our core position but take profits off at the key targets. Now let's look at that double bottom on the one hour. So here's that one hour and this is what we're talking about with high prob probability reversal patterns. Came down, made this double bottom, came up, triggered it, gave a slight pullback. Now this is only a single target trade which was right here around the declining 50 hour exponential moving average and this 1591 it hasn't hit the full 1591 target yet uh, but it's nearly come in contact with the 50 uh, hour moving exponential moving average so that's something to keep in mind we went over to the four hour trade here was the one hour trade which we're going to say virtually is hit target already because if it were to drop back down our stop longer terms at break even but this is where you want to exit some and if you think it's reversing then you can possibly hold some for a little bigger move but keep those areas in mind on the four hour chart and the daily chart to possibly take some more off that's all we have for you on ripple us dollar back to you bob thanks for that michael and thank you guys for watching hit like and subscribe there's also part one two and three of trend lines and two part moving average series that we did on youtube check those out as well and we'll talk to you in the next path chat. Cheers, everyone.